Hello lovelies, this is Ariele from Nature's Life Tarot and now I'm going to look at Hugh Krovener and his love life. Um, I think it's high time for this guy to either find love or show his girlfriend to the world. But let's see. What does 2020 have in store for him in terms of love? Uh, and we have this small caveat, and I'm going to write it down here. Kind of put it in here. What does the what is his love life going to look like till the end of this year because even though we are in a <clears throat> mercury retrograde um and there were other planets that were in retrograde we are still not at the end of the year so <clears throat> even until the, the the clock strikes midnight you know um, I was in the realm can show up at any time, let's put it this way, uh, in a more um, <clears throat> allegorical way. Uh, so let's first take a look at what's going on in his love life um, till the end of the year. Now, let's first uh, take, uh, take a look at, uh, at the planet, uh, the planets and the planetary things. So till the end of this month, is not a good thing to start anything new that uh, and that's that's a general advice for all the ladies and um, and the gents out there do not go on first dates during that time do not start a relationship because it will be marred with uh, retrograde mercury unless unless you have a retrograde mercury in your own natal chart that will mean that during that time you will thrive everything that is uh, going backwards with hindrances for other people it will be um, like open doors for you but unless you're that unless you have retrograde mercury in your own natal chart do not start things like even if you for example even if you uh, there is this um, um, agencies that uh, where you can uh, subscribe and they can uh, get to um, know you with uh, um, appropriate for your taste and uh, desires uh, men and women just don't sign anything like that during this one till the end it's not much time left but still you know even in the final hour, a person can make a mistake. Then I think we have till the 3rd of December or something like that, one of the other major planets retrograde. Um, I'm already feeling it on my back. Um, it's, um, how can I say it? Anything you start will, will um, end up quickly, like literally you start a relationship on the second week you realize that this was a huge mistake and you don't want to spend another second in 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 this uh and and you just um if it usually takes you let's say years uh to get to the conclusion that something is not right for you in until uh, the third of uh, december you will feel like that's it you know no longer i'm not gonna put up with this i'm not gonna want this so it it's a turbulent time and in general uh, i think we had one more uh, planet uh, again I'm, I'm not prepared with the planets right now but there's one more planet that is returning from retrograde either beginning of january or beginning of february so there's still things that are, um, uh, let's say, that are um, 
impacting, especially millennials. So what, what's his, uh, what is uh, Hugh Grosvenor's love life till the end of this year? So the the Yellow Fund, uh, the not the Yellow Fund, the Hermit. The Hermit reversed is a good card. Actually, I, I really like the Hermit in general. Yeah, a lot of people interpret that card as somebody who's uh, closed off, somebody who is, um, let's say, avoiding social gatherings and uh, uh, going out. Is um, <clears throat> even um, kind of like the uh, the hermit that is uh, uh, living in a cave um, and um, <clears throat> uh, um, with with a full beard that just grew and grew. But generally, the Hermit is also a very good card for meditation, for the need to go to, let's say, spa, or a need to just be alone with yourself and your thoughts. Uh, it's a very good card for meditation and the need for vacation and relaxation. Reverse that is also a very good card. Again, um, Hermit is one of my favorite cards because it doesn't hinder you. It's like you hold the key of all the answers. And that's really uh, the, uh, the, the key here. He has been before, he has been in some kind of a self-imposed isolation which may not be a bad thing, okay? May not be a bad thing. For example, if you know that you constantly go into the wrong um, relationships, if you constantly in a room full of people, you, you choose the bad apple every single time. It's a good thing to, you know, to get a step back and say, let me get a... Uh, vacation. Let me get the vacation from relationships for a while. Reverse that card, the Kermit card. It's like he's ready to go out of his shell, and he will by the end of the year. He will, even though those cards are all, um, let's say, they're all um, in reverse. These these are not bad cards. For example, the second card for the uh, for his, uh, for Hugh Grosvenor's love life till the end of the year is uh, the um, the full, the full reversed. So the full is going headstrong. Oh, I like that girl from the cross the street. I'm gonna cross it and I'm gonna say hi and it's going to be like in a Korean uh, drama or Korean uh, uh, love uh, soap opera. Uh, and we are going to love each other till the end of times. That's the that's the full talking. That's the full card. Reverse that is like, okay, I'm going to go out of my shelf, but I'm not going to give myself to the first lady that uh, uh, walks past by me. I'm going to be strategic, not strategic, but I'm going to be selective about it and selective with the heart the full is really about innocence innocence and um having um you know uh, no prejudices in your heart and that again that's a good card now the queen of um of swords reversed now we he, wh what i can say here is that there currently is a woman in his life that is consulting him, uh, consulting him how to be that reversed uh, hermit, how to behave as that reversed fool. He's no longer a child. He's no longer irresponsible. There is a method to the madness. There is a way to find a good quality woman um, that will want him uh, for him. And this woman is, uh, you know, Mm, uh, going out of her way he's, she's she's kind of like she's forced into being the bad the, the, the bad mother yeah for him for for him uh, in order to teach him how to how to choose wisely 
that could be a relationship that he's in right now um usually usually we 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 learn our biggest lessons in life through our most intimate relationships and that's with say mother father brother sister partner and a child so but this is somebody bigger than him so he's either having a relationship with a woman who's slightly older than him and is coaching him on you know on the matters of the heart or it's his mother um I don't know if he has sisters that are older than him, but definitely this is a motherly type of um, um, of energy. So it's either an older woman he's in relationship with or his mother. Now we have the four of, of swords reversed. The four of swords is another card for, and that's the hidden card, by the way, the, the card for the, for, for the unknown that, that, that they draw up. So the four of swords, the, the hidden, the hidden part um, for this year, for him, that's another card for meditation, uh, going to massage, uh, you know, pampering yourself, being, you know, you know, uh, honoring yourself as being a valuable human being. <coughs> And judging from my reaction, just picking those words out, that's not a good thing for him. That's not an easy thing for him to feel like he is a valuable human being. Apart from, um, let's say, um, his, um, his uh, like uh, good looks, uh, his um, a fame, uh, his fortune, uh, his, uh, um, you know, family uh, heirlooms or whatever. Uh, he, uh, he is currently, and that's a good, very good lesson, by the way. It's a very good lesson. Um, there is also a very, a very interesting, um, that could be this woman, very interesting woman. She's in her, uh, she's, she's British in her 40s or 50s. She's talking about, about all of this, the, you know, being um, like confident in yourself, but in confident in a way that you are a hundred percent sure that you have value even if you don't uh, value, just you are valuable, no matter what. You don't have to be anything, do anything, contribute anything to have value. Um, that could be that woman. I'm not gonna, you know, name, but again, um, could be that woman. She's a um, she's a very famous uh, therapist in the UK. Um, so the four of uh, the four of uh, swords reversed. He, again, he is gaining in that time, so to, to the end of November and the whole of December, he's gaining that um, understanding that he is a human being of value just because he is. And these are really good cards. These are not relationship cards, though, so... Um, even even if he's in a relationship, which I again slightly doubt it, even if he's in a relationship, um, it's a more like a learning curve relationship. It's a it's not a relationship that is there to stay. It's a relationship to teach him how to how to be how to be him um, how to attract a quality woman into his life. So let me see how. Wow. Alrighty. So I'll look at the other cards in the next video. So talk to you soon. Bye.